Hello everyone, Chocolate Bitter from another video review. This time we have Fulton's Special Toffee Milk Chocolate Bar. Um, so, just reviewed uh, their was it Fabulous Fudge or something. What's it called? Uh, fabulous Fudge, yes, so this is the Special Toffee. Um, so, Fulton's um, basically a UK um, chocolate company, really, that usually sort of just make chocolate selections. You know, you get a selection box of chocolate, and they have their own stores that have like um, that sell those chocolates and also sell, you know, selections of chocolate you can pick up and make your own little um, assortments with. But um, but basically in the past couple of years, they've sort of moved into more mainstream bars that you can buy in the supermarket, um, uh, such as this one, really. Um, yeah, uh, so I think they've, I think I've seen it for a while. Maybe there was one or two years, but I've never got it and uh, thought, well, I'll do it now. <laughs> so why not? Yes, so uh, here we are. Um, yes, yeah, so I say they are more famous really for, lots of little bags of, you know, chocolate toffees and things or truffle bags as well. You know, those typical stuff you can get from you know, chocolatiers or whatever you'd want to say, those sort of shops. Um, and mainly the Fountains Continental Selection they do, which my mum always used to love. Um, and I do too, <laughs> although I don't really get it because it's uh, about £20. <laughs> Something like that for the big one anyway. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, but no, £20 well spent, I'd say. Um, but anyway, I digress. So here we go. So we got a special toffee. So it says toffee flavoured milk chocolate with toffee pieces. So they've been very clever here. The, the, the chocolate itself is toffee flavoured, which is, um, I like. Um, I'm excited about that. So, uh, it says, um, yep, uh, lovingly British since 1911 there, uh, which is nice. There's all this sort of weird artworky stuff going on. Don't quite know what's going on, but it's got some bloke in a, uh, with a chef's hat, presumably making chocolate. Um, you know, like the lint guy, he's actually wearing dark clothes. So, yeah, you say, always say with the lint guy, you see on the adverts where he's wearing all white. I mean, he's never made chocolate in his life, has he? He's in his life, has he? Because, uh, <laughs> because um, he'd be covered in chocolate otherwise. So obviously this guy's got the sense to, uh, <laughs> to wear black. So there you go. <laughs> um, there we are. Um, okay, so yes. Uh, yeah, they're quite like, and you can see on the front as well, it's quite a nice design. So it's got this sort of like weird machine going on, pumping out chocolate. And this one here pumping out toffee pieces, similar to the fudge one they had. Um, that's a nice chocolate colour there and some bits of it sort of a bit shiny and the font here and this blue bits over here and even a bit of the sort of brown for the toffee there as well so it's quite nice 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 uh see where it reflects in the light so quite a nice bar um or wrapper um so yeah so with the flourish shears it's about 17 centimeters not so scientific there but uh, as you can see there's these bits here that you know, exaggerate the look of the bar so yeah so per, um, per 100 grams, it says on the back, it's a 100 gram bar, 536 calories, 31 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. Um, so how does that compare to the fudge one? You yeah, know, the fudge one's got five less calories, but the fat is exactly the same. So there we go, so not too bad. First, so for, yeah, not too bad that. <laughs> um, okay, let's then give it up, I think. Oh yes, and I think, is it suitable vegetarians? Yeah, the fudge one said it was suitable for vegetarians, but uh, this one, where did it say? Yeah, yeah it said it's, uh, it said it here. Oh, it does say it's suitable for vegetarians. Yeah, it has a few other things, actually. It says no artificial colours, no artificial flavours, alcohol-free recipe. But as your one, it just says uh, suitable for vegetarians, so. Okay, but also might contain nuts and egg. May also contain nuts and egg. Hmm, that's a bit. Can that be suitable for vegetarians if it can contain egg? I don't know. I'm not. The other one says it well, the fudge one. Hmm. I don't know. I would have thought if you're vegetarian, you want to eat egg. Hmm. Well, having said that, maybe not. I don't. I don't know. Maybe you would actually. I think perhaps it's more. I oh, know. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It does say suitable vegetarians, but it may contain egg, so make of that, if you will. Um, so here we go, so here's the bar. So it looks exactly the same as the fudge one. It's got a nice, nice design on it. It's a nice smell coming from it, actually, a nice toffee smell. So you can see it's got this sort of section here, um, this sort of Fulton's thing. I quite like that. It doesn't, it's not overly aggressive in taking over the, sort of the design of the bar. Like the Montezuma's one, which is ridiculous, so you can't <laughs> divide the sections up easily, whereas you can in this, so that's good. I like the design, it's quite nice. On the back, um, there's no, you can see there's kind of like a, well, there's no real lumps and bumps for the toffee pieces. 
It's funny actually because you can see the sort of, I don't know if you can make it out, but you can see the individual, where each segment, or each sort of two segments is kind of individual. Um, you'll see it there just with those lines around the edges and it's kind of like a sort of, looks like a ripply effect where something's been poured onto each bit. So it cleanly divides into sort of, into um, a two segment block. I don't, I say, I don't think you can quite make it out. It's interesting. Yeah, interesting anyway, interesting to me. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically a fifth of a bar is probably the equivalent to say a chocolate bar's worth of calories. It works out at, uh, sorry, a, fifth, a third of the bar. Um, five segments, um, it's about 33 grams. I think that's probably the equivalent. So I'll give you, hopefully by now or at this point, I'm putting some nutrition information for five segments or a third of the bar on the side there. So I'll work that out. Um, yeah, <laughs> I won't do it now because it'll take about two hours probably. <laughs> Knowing what I'm like at maths when I'm put on the spot like this. I used to be good at baths. I don't know what's happened to me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happened to me. Anyway, let's give it a... Um, let's give it a measure. Yeah, there's worse things to, that can start going wrong with you, isn't there, I guess, than losing your maths ability. But, you know, I do miss it sometimes. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's 13 and a half centimetres um, in their length. And uh, let's see, 7.3 centimetres across. That's at the top. So, well, I'll tell you what. I'll do it at the top. If I have as well, 13.2 as opposed to the top, as opposed to 13.5 at the bottom. And at the top, the width is 7, just about 7 centimetres. And at the bottom, it's 7.3. So you're losing a bit because it's not quite straight, you know, it curves up a bit. So you lose a bit of, a bit of size for what it's worth. And then um, in the height wise, it's about 0 0.9, 0 0.9 centimetres. Almost, maybe 0 0.8, 0 0.85, how about that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, that's quite nice, smells quite nice. Mm, has a bit of a toffee smell. So it's toffee chocolate. So I said, I can't see any, it did say there's with toffee pieces. I can't see any evidence of these toffee pieces at all. They're very small. There's, there's things that could be very small pieces in there, but I can't tell. Um, let's try cutting it. Why not? Put it on there. Um, it's a very hard chocolate, so it's got a nice snap to it, as you might have heard. Yeah, so I really I can't see any evidence of these top pieces. It might be very small and little crunchy pieces. And I've had similar things like that in, a, in another chocolate bar. So let's say. Got a lovely snap to it, I and mean, you hear that. So it's a nice snap, which is always a good sign, I think. I think mean, it's just a good solid chocolate. So let's, uh, let's give it a taste, shall we? Mm. Yeah, the um, toffee pieces are very small. There's quite a lot of them, I think, but um, yeah, you get a little, little crunches. Mm. Chocolate's. Um, it's a bit creamy in this, in this case, not like the fudge one. Because it's toffee flavoured in this one, it's made it a bit creamy, I think. Hmm. Which I'm not, I'm not a fan of it when the chocolate goes a bit creamy. It goes a bit more Belgian chocolate-like, where it's a bit sort of got that creamy taste. Um, hmm. Crunch is okay. It's, it's, there's just lots of little crunches when you're biting it, but they're not, you know, some of them, some of them you can... Some will have the more impact than others, basically. Hmm. Yeah. I prefer it to be a bit bigger, I think. But it does give you a bit of a different texture than the fudge one, which has bigger pieces. Um, hmm. Hmm. My main issue with this one is that the toffee flavoured chocolate. It's made the chocolate a bit creamier, so it's gone a bit more like um, <clears throat> it's gone a bit more like a Belgian chocolate, you know, or a sort of you know a creamier chocolate, a bit more like a Galaxy chocolate or Dove if you live in Northern Europe, or um, a Belgian chocolate basically. Um, yeah, you know, like there's the the Guiliano Island, whatever they're called, ones. You know, a bit more like that sort of. I guess they're not quite a good example because they're sort of. Um, even creamier, really, perhaps not a good example, but yeah, and then maybe a milk or chocolate, you know, things like this. It's gone a bit more that way, so even though it's presumably um, 
the t toffee flavour. It's, you know, maybe it's just sweetened the chocolate maybe and made it a bit more of a, just giving it more of that sort of taste. There you go, actually, I've just had a look at this. You can see the toffee pieces there. I don't know if you can see them shining in the light a bit. There's a couple of them there. Yeah, there's a couple. Only one of them seems to shine on the light, but you can see it there, I think. See it shining there. Yeah, so they're that size. They're quite small, <clears throat> a bit more subtle. Um, so you can go there in case you can't see it, just where my nail is. Yeah, it's a bit like a sort of dark, yeah, dark hard caramel looking thing. So yeah, so in this case there's um, definitely more, um, yeah, it, it just tastes more creamy. I don't know, I can't, I'm trying to see if I can see. It doesn't tell you any proportions for milk or whatever or water. But yeah, it seems to be the toffee has made it more creamy. Um, so for me, I'm not, that doesn't do it for me. I prefer, prefer the fudge one basically, because um, it just, the chocolate tastes of fudge, um, whereas this doesn't, the chocolate doesn't taste of toffee in this case. So it doesn't really, you know, this toffee flavor milk chocolate, um, it isn't toffee flavored, it's just sweeter. It's just a bit more creamier. You know, it has that creamier taste um, that you get, you know, just basically tastes a bit like milk or chocolate, or as I say, a Belgian chocolate generally. Um, which for me takes away from the Thornton's chocolate, you know, I think. Um, so, yeah, basically I'm not as a big a fan of this one as I am of the, the fudge one, even though I'm not a massive fudge person, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really like cubes of fudge, you know, you get these, they're far too sweet for me. Um, but in that bar, in the fudge one, it tasted, um, it tasted nice. I should have said in the fudge one, I wasn't a big fan of, fan of fudge, I didn't. <laughs> but uh, probably you all have watched both of them, so. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, yes, I have to try and, I don't know, maybe I'll edit that into the fudge one, we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, uh, um, yeah, I probably will edit that in, actually, to say I'm not a big fan of fudge in the fudge one. <laughs> um, it is relevant. Anyway, digressing. Um, yeah, so this one, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's just a shame um it basically detracts from it really having this toffee flavour because it doesn't taste of toffee. It's just, as I say, just made it a bit sweeter. Um, you know, I mean, well, maybe that is what toffee is really at the end of the day. But I don't know. It's it's not it's not worked for me. I don't think. Um, it's just it just made it more of a, more of a, when I say sweet, it's more of a creamier tasting milk chocolate. Um, and I think that's probably detrimental uh, to, to 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 what you're trying to get from the Thornton's chocolate. I think. Um, but as I say, if you like, if you do like that sort of creamier milk chocolate, then by all means, then this would be for you, really. But then you probably wouldn't, I think you would have just gone for something else, really. <laughs> um, you know, you might just go for the, I'll say, milk or something, or uh, I know something on those lines. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. I think, yeah, I think there we go. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Difficult one to, to say, really. But I don't, I won't, because because the chocolate doesn't taste of overly of toffee, those crispy pieces are not very prominent in the bar at all. They're just little crispy bits you get every now and again, so hmm, not sure. I think a three out of five for me, this one. Not unpleasant, um, but not as good as the fudge one. Um, you might like it if you're a fan of sort of the creamy, the creamy chocolates, creamy brown chocolates, but you still wouldn't get much toffee out of it. So you probably would prefer just like a milk or toffee bar instead basically over this. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. <laughs> I'm being attacked by the sun now, as you can see, so I think I've just called it about right. <laughs> yeah, so, um, okay, everyone, I hope you have a lovely day. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, and uh, like my videos, follow me Twitter, subscribe, um, and I'll see you again. <laughs> Bye for now, everyone. Take care. See ya.